Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you how to make this card using the Treat Yourself by Lawn Fawn with the coordinating dies. I absolutely love this set. I'm also going to be using the Concord and Knight Biddy Burst Turnabout Stamp Set. Um, so yeah, this is what the effect you can get. So you can stamp it multiple times to get different effects. It's up to you. And then I'm taking a 4x4 inch card just because it's a lot easier when you're using a turnabout stamp. So the colours I'm going to be using are Angel Pink, Rosebud, Love Letter and Ladybug. So the girl I asked what her favourite stamp was, she asked me to do the treat yourself. I also asked her what her favourite colours were and she said reds. So that's what we're doing. So I've already placed my stamp on here the right way. And you get this little template with the stamp set. That's why I'm using a... 4x4 four four inch card because the square card is just so much easier to work with but you can use a different size card um i'll leave a, li a video linked in my description so you guys can go and work out what works best for you um because you can make a jig so you can make sure that you're always doing this the right way so i do stamp this twice just to make sure the color is like stronger than it would normally be so as you can see you can really see the pink so i took it again that's the best thing about a stamp platform as well so, I would definitely recommend buying a stamp platform if you don't already have one. I mean, I kind of regret what I did. I bought one, I can't remember what brand it was, but my very first stamp set I still have. Uh, but the foam insert that came with it, I thought it was to protect the plastic um, door frame. So, I thought it wasn't necessarily something that was part of it. So, I got rid of it. And that was probably like one of the worst things that I've ever done. So, don't get rid of any then that comes with it because it's generally something anyway i've just turned this clockwise i think it was clockwise <laughs> um, yeah clockwise um so that's all you gotta do if you want you can mark like on the piece of paper or on a jig if you make one um a little arrow so you know which way to turn it each time so i think i could have stopped after the third color i think it would have looked a little bit less chaotic um but you know, I decided on doing the four colours, so that's why I stuck with it. So, yeah. But I only have one of these turnabout stamps, but I am looking into purchasing a couple more just because I think they're the most easiest things to make backgrounds with. So that's what that looks like. So I just flipped it again using Love Ledger now. So this is where I think I could have stopped after this colour just because it looked okay and... Sorry if you hear music, my computer just decided to unfreeze itself. Um, but yeah. It kind of, <laughs> I was kind of thinking about it the other day and I was like, it looks like chicken pox. And I was like, ugh. Like, I don't even know if I've ever had chicken pox. So, you know, I need to find that one out. Because, you know, it's good information to know. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is where I think I could have stopped. So let me know down in the comments. Do you think the three colours looks better or the four colours? Because I'd love to know. So I think this looks perfect on its own. And I think I just went a bit overboard doing it the fourth time. So. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking because it's pretty much just me doing this. I then just stamp my treat yourself images on some cartridge paper using my tuxedo black ink. And then I colour it in. So I will put a time frame in until we just skip to after the colouring. Um, I also take my coordinating dies as well and die cut it. So I'll skip past that too. So I will see you when the next step is in progress.
once I've finished colouring it and dipenning everything, I'm just bringing in the card itself so I can work out the placements for everything and where I want them to be. I think this is just a, such a sweet, cute card. I'm using a happy birthday sentiment from a different stamp set, so I will leave that link in my description. This is the stamp set. It is the perfume. I don't know if it's bouquet or bouquet. I'm not entirely sure, but it's by Concord and Knife. Not Concord and Knife. Honestly, I got that on my head today. Um, it's Colorado Craft Company. Um, and that's the first stamp set I ever bought from that set. Um, as you can see, I just did that and it wasn't straight. So I was like, nope, I am not doing that again. <laughs> so I do think I might, I should have like used vellum, you know, so the sentiment stood out a little bit more. But, you know, I, I think of things after I've done them, if that makes sense. Like, even though I plan my cards out, you know, it still never seems to like be 100%. So, I guess that's one of the things about being a crafter, you don't always get the effect you want, and sometimes you do. Anyway, let me know down in the comment what your favourite flavour of ice cream is, because I'd love to know. I have a couple of favourites, but the one that I totally miss is, we used to go to um, Cleveland's, which is a seaside town near me, and they used to have a bubblegum ice cream, and it was amazing. And I just cannot find a decent bubblegum ice cream anymore. Anyways, I'm just taking some 3D adhesive squares to pop up my ice cream tub and then I'm going to bring in my multi matte medium glue to glue down the other bits and pieces. And then I also bring in some Wink of Stella, some glossy accents and some sequins and pearl embellishments. Uh, everything I used is linked in my description guys, so I hope you check that out. Um, I do really need to start linking for the US because I keep forgetting like YouTube is worldwide it's not just the UK but I know a lot of YouTubers that are, are just from the US and it's just a little harder to find things that are available in the UK that's why I link for the UK as well because obviously I live here and I also know the struggles of finding stuff anyways so unfortunately I don't know if you'll be able to get the sequins that I used um, because they're from the range which is a UK store. I don't think they'll deliver overseas, but I don't officially know that. So there you go. So I also just bring in rhubarb stock again so I can add my personal stamp to the back of this. But that's pretty much it for the card, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you are subscribed because it means the world to me. I also hope you guys are following me over on my social medias because I follow everybody back and, you know, I just love supporting each other and also I love just getting to know people a little, bit, a little bit better. So make sure you are following me on my Instagram too. Also, I will link the girl's Instagram. Because every time I do a card swap, it's generally because they're a crafter. So I will link her Instagram down below, guys. But other than that, I will see you in my next video. Stay safe. Happy crafting. And I, if you have any recommendations of videos you'd like to see, let me know and I'll try and do those for you guys. But other than that, I'll see you later.